we are going to make this image together today. Um, we're going to add in a lot of elements. Um, I will show you each piece of stock that we're going to do and we're going to start by placing our stock into the backdrop that um, we have here. So all of this stock is, that I have for this image is from Adobe Stock. Yeah, now that we know where we, you can find the stock, I will show you each piece. So here is the backdrop we're going to start with. Um, we are going to add the hunter here and the deer onto the trees. We have our T-Rex. We have the first egg that is in his hands and the second egg that's down at his feet. We have the second dino that is in the background and we have our boy here. This is my friend's little boy and he is dinosaur obsessed so um, this backdrop is perfect for him and he loved it so um, he, as you can see he is holding an egg in his hand but I just felt it looked a little too um, fake like plastic egg which it was so uh, that's why I added in the other egg into his hand that looked a little more um, what you would think maybe a dirty dinosaur egg would look like so that's what we're gonna we're gonna use all of that stock to make this image here so let's get started by placing our stock and making adjustments onto our backdrop so I'm just gonna close out of that um, so as you can see this background is very very vivid very um, vibrant and it's not quite um, what I want for my digital so I'm going to actually first bring this up into um, camera raw filter so you go into filter camera raw filter and we're going to darken it up a little bit here we're also going to um, go up here into the HSL adjustments and we're going to bring the greens like way, 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 way down. <laughs> um, and then even in luminance, we might bring, I might just bring the greens down to darken them as well. And that is looking a lot better. So uh, the next thing that we need to do with this backdrop is extend this road because this little road is too small for our subject to be standing on. So I'm gonna make a new layer. So I'm gonna drag this layer down to the plus button. And I'm going to go ahead and start cloning with my clone tool here, the road. So you hit Alt to select part of the road. And you can just start um, kind of, oh, sorry, you want your opacity on your brush to be at 100%. So I'm going to just start copying this road and you can just, you know, keep hitting alt and select because you want to make sure you're getting just the road and you're not going to be selecting any of the grass or any of the um, leaves and things like that. And also, if you continue to select and pick different spots, it um, makes it less look less like you just um, it, less repetitive. I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, so that's pretty good there with the road. I might just zoom in and make my brush a bit smaller here for a second. All right. So now we have our road extended. Um, so that's basically all I'm going to do for the backdrop right now. I'm just going to flatten this. I'm going to start bringing in the stock. So why don't we start with the dinosaur? I've already pre-selected all of this because I've, there's a lot of stock and I figured that you guys would not want to be watching me um, select everything. Um, so 
I'll just explain to you quickly what I used. I used the quick selection tool and I just went around my subject with the quick selection tool as best I could. Like obviously this is gonna select him really well because um, I already have him cut out, but select him as best you can. And if you need to go in and make adjustments, then you, you can do that as well. I then went into the select and mask with my um, subject here. And I put in these exact, um, I don't know, adjustments. So in radius, I have it at three. Um, I feathered it at 0 0.5 and I shifted the edge of my selection by negative 10%. Um, I like these settings and this is pretty much what I use for 100% all of my selections. So, and then when I'm done with that, I just hit OK. And now he is nicely selected. I can um, hit Control C to copy him. Go back to my stock photo, yes, my stock photo, and hit Control V to paste. And I'm just gonna name this layer my dino. Um, all right, so before I resize him, I want to go up to layer and turn him into a smart object and convert to smart object. The reason you want to convert them to smart objects is because um, sometimes when you resize a subject that is bigger than your background, what can happen is it can get quite pixelated and you don't want it to look pixelated at all. You want it to be um, pretty much you want you don't want it to be pixelated or else it will look um, digitally enhanced and fake so we don't and we don't want that to happen we want it to look as realistic as we can possibly make it so I'm just going to figure out where I had my dinosaur placed it was right around here I think um, and I'll just hit enter before I do anything else I will then put a layer mask on this layer and just roughly, I'm going to paint, I'm gonna paint out the bar parts that will not be seen. So I'm gonna go change the opacity down so I can see everything. Um, obviously, if he's coming around this corner, basically this entire foot is not going to be shown. So we'll go to my brush, and we're just gonna, with a black brush, paint it out Oh, sorry, my opacity is really low. Let's turn the opacity up to 100%. And roughly, I'm just going to paint him out here. Um, oops. So this is obviously a very, very rough um, paint job right now, but we're going to go in and uh, adjust it better um, as we go. So I just want to have him kind of placed so that I can place all my other subjects. So roughly, that's about where I had him, I think. Actually, I think he might be too big. Control T. Let's just resize him slightly. Yeah, I think he was more like that size. Um, so that means I'm going to have to go back and uh, paint him back in a little bit. So I'll hit X on my brush to bring up my white palette and I'm just going to paint him back in a little bit here and there. X to get my black palette and brush some of this tree back in. Okay. X again. All right, so roughly that's about where we're gonna have our dinosaur. So we're gonna go to the next piece of stock. Um, I'm going to select part of this guy, hit Control C, Control V to paste, 
And with this one I had to do um, blending mode and I'm trying to remember which blending mode I used. I think it was like pin light. Something like that. So let's go and move him, resize him, control T. Oh, sorry. We, first we want to change him into a smart object as well. So I'm gonna actually name this layer Hunter one and control T to select him to resize him yeah I believe it was pin light and I'm gonna have to obviously make a bunch more adjustments on these but um, I had him about there I think it was pin light let's just see if there's something better here um, You know what, I think I like darker color. It seems to be blending a little bit better here, so um, we're gonna have to darken him and do all this other stuff, but for now, that's kind of where I'll place him. I think I'm gonna unlock this selection here, and I'm going to just um, kind of smush him a little bit, but um, just so I can make him a bit bigger. There, looks pretty good. Okay, and then I selected these guys and did the same thing. Control C, Control V. Um, now I believe where I placed them was I think I maybe reversed it. So let's again change them to a smart object. Control T. And for this one, we're going to go to transform. So edit transform. And we're going to flip them horizontally. Um, and then I'll resize them for the tree here. Uh, let's just... Okay, enter. Um, and then I definitely had an, a second hunter. So these are the deer. And we're gonna place a, oh, cancel that. We're gonna place a second hunter on the tree. Control C, Control V. Um, we're, again, change it to a smart object. And we're gonna flip him. Control T, edit, transform, flip horizontally and hit enter. Then we will change the blending mode to darken again. Control T. Now I can't remember exactly. I think I had to flip him around a little bit to get him to fit properly on the tree here something like that all right so we'll leave those there for now if we need to make adjustments we will so what I want to do is I actually want to group these items that I just placed because um, if I make one adjustment to one of them I want to have the same adjustments so I'm going to um, hit shift and select all of these layers and hit control G to group then you can name the whole group and we'll put drawings on tree to rename the group. All right, we're done with that stock, so I'm just going to close it out. We are done with the T-Rex. No. Um, and the egg. Uh, actually, first, before we place anything else, let's choose our boy. So we're going to then select our boy, hit Control, uh, control C, 
and go back to our stock control V to place so again go to layer change them to a smart object and hit control T now we want to make sure now that we have this locked um, so we're not squishing him or changing um, his dimensions or anything like that we want him to look um, correct like a little bit like a little boy so I think he was right around here uh, I think I'll place him there for now he actually might be a bit big slightly smaller and that's looking pretty good all right so we're gonna name this layer boy and we can close our boy here no and our egg so again select everything with your um, your tool here Actually, it's not quite working, so. Control C, Control V. Um, again, change this layer to a smart object. Control T to select. Make sure this is locked. And we're just gonna resize the egg to fit in his hands here. All right, so again, we're gonna wanna place a uh, layer mask on this and paint off where his fingers are. So we'll just get our brush. So hit B to get your brush. Make sure that it is a black brush. And we're just gonna paint his fingers and his hands back in around the egg here. Just roughly. Like we can, we're gonna go back in and make adjustments for everything again. Um, so I'm just gonna roughly do this. And we can put this back up to 100%. All right, so we'll name this egg in oops, hands. And our last bit of, st uh, I guess we have a couple more actually. So, you know, that's fine. Then we have this guy here, control C. I've already got it selected, so control C, control V. Um, again, we want to change it to a smart object. Control T, and we'll just make this egg teeny tiny, put it at his feet. We want it to be roughly the same size as the egg that's in his hand. So about right there is fine. 